Hi, this is Carolyn Wilhelm from the Wise Owl Factory, and this is how to make a collage photo using Word for print, Pinterest and blogging. Um, I'm assuming you have Pinterest, I'm assuming you have photos, and I'm assuming that you have a PDF maker so you can save as a photo. So I'm going to take all this off here, all of it off, and I'm going to start at the beginning by inserting a table. You want to insert a table with a lot of cells, and you can use it that way, but it's not the most interesting way. Then think about your photos. So I'm going to go to Layout, Merge. I have some vertical photos I want to put in here. Maybe you have a different shape or whatever. So. You think about your photos, and the trick is um, merging the cells so that you get an interesting um, set of frames. Then you want to be sure to select all. You go to design on the right. There's two designs. You want to go on the right and go way to the right. Click paint border, all, pick your color, and pick your width. I like a nice um, dark border on there. This maybe is a little bit busy, but I'm just showing you what you can do. And you can change it after you start, too. So I'm going to click in a square. I'm going to insert a picture. And let's see. I'm going to pick Koala Writing. Now, it pushes everything around, but don't worry, because you can change what you have there. And you can change things all the way. So here's another one. I'm going to pick my wolf writing. Now I'm actually adding collages, but you don't have to add collages, and it's probably better if you just use pictures. Um, here's my generic animal writing. It didn't go anywhere because I hadn't clicked in a cell. So try that. And then my wolf writing, insert picture, wolf writing. And everything moves around, but don't worry because you can change it. Um, OK. I want to add my um, logo up here. So I'll go to pictures, and I'll get my logo in. Um, maybe I want to include a little picture here that is just kind of eye-catching. So I'll put in um, my owl that reads. And now here I have um, kind of a big space, so you might want to fiddle around with that, but I think I'll move my owl there. In this one, I'm going to insert a text box that I draw. I want to pick Draw. Even though I could put it in there, I like to add it myself. I'll pick a letter. I'll go home. I'll pick a size. Free, gen free animal writing frame printables. I'll make that centered. I have more control if I do the frame. The frame on the outside, I don't want any shape outline, so I'm going to go to no outline there. Maybe I want that a little bit bigger. Um, and then maybe I'll make that smaller. Now I'm going to stick in a few more interesting pictures. I have to remember to click in the cell. And let's see. Here's a bear, and he's kind of big. So what I'm going to do with him is um, format picture. Oh, I wanted to cut the picture. I'm not going to fiddle with it right now. Crap. Um, 
I can do it that way. There's another way you can do it too where you pull the um, corners. I'm going to ignore that. Let's see, I'll put in another picture. So let's see, right here, insert a picture. I think I'm going to use this polar bear, but I'm going to open him with Microsoft Picture Manager and I'm going to crop because I want him um, more like that. Save as, I always save as dot a and then I know that's my small one. Not. I don't want to save the other one, but I'll put in my bear right there. So you can kind of get the idea of um, what you're doing there. You have to fiddle around with your pictures and you have to fiddle around with what you have to work with. I'm not saying there's only one way to do it. Here's my wolves sleeping in their den picture and I'm going to make that smaller. I've got a wolf sleeping on the top and a wolf sleeping in the den but nobody can really tell. And I want to center that so I go home, center it. Um, now you might want to fiddle, you might want to merge that. You know you can, you can change it different ways that you want. So then just to speed things along, I'm going to save as a PDF and then I'm going to make that into a um, picture. So save. Um, yes. And there's my PDF, but then I have to open up Adobe Pro. I have to open the Thing I just made, picture I just made, then I would save as when I finish it, but I just want to show you. Uh, PNG. It's better if we name with um, inserts. So free animal writing frames on my desktop. Save. Now what I'm going to do is take it and make it smaller. Open with Microsoft. It's easy to use Paint also. You can use Paint or Microsoft to resize it. Paint, will, you can make it the exact pixels. I usually just take off the white, resize to half, and um, maybe I'll just make it a little bit smaller and save it. And then I'm going to add it to a blog post. Even though um, it's not done and I really will be working on it some more. So I go to Blogger. I go to one of my blogs. A post. And Let's see, new post. And I'm going to upload my picture from my desktop. I usually don't do it this way, but I, I know some people do. Desktop picture. Okay, now the best thing here, I want it my original size. The best thing here is to click it here at the bottom. It says properties right here. Free animal writing frame printables, comma, CCSS, comma, wolf, comma, bear, comma, I think I have koala on this picture. Um, grades one and two. You would probably use that near the end of one and the beginning of two. Photo of pages in printable PDFs. Whatever you write on here is what you think people will put in Google. So, um, 
and then to link link it I need to open my page that I want to link it to which is my writing frame page oh my goodness there's some problems online Let's see if I can get it right here and pick free writing frames and then I want to copy that link now when you link your picture you make it blue click link it goes away make it blue click link put your URL in and I'm going to schedule this because I'm not really done with it for tomorrow done and I'm not really done but the videos done I hope that helps you thank you a lot